Imagine wandering through the serpentine streets of Venice, only to stumble upon an eerily silent alley. Venice, the floating city of romance and dreams, is a place that has long captured the hearts of travelers. With its winding canals, picturesque gondolas and ornate architecture, it's a paradise for the senses. But beyond the splendor and the mask of grandeur, there are hidden corners that tell a different tale. Our story begins with a traveler named Alex. A seasoned explorer, he was drawn to Venice by the allure of its rich history and vibrant culture. One evening while navigating the labyrinthine streets of the city, he found himself in an unfamiliar alley. The usual chatter and laughter that filled the Venetian air were absent. All he could hear was the soft whisper of the wind and the distant lapping of water against the canal walls. The alley was like a vein running through the body of the city, narrow and winding. The buildings on either side seemed to lean inward, creating a canopy that blocked out the sky. A sudden chill descended upon Alex, causing him to pull his jacket tighter around himself. It was an unease that he couldn't shake off, a feeling that he was not alone. As he ventured deeper into the alley, the silence became more profound. The only sound was the echo of his footsteps against the cobblestone pathway. The air grew colder, and the hair on the back of his neck stood on end. It was as if the alley was a part of a different Venice, a Venice that was not on the postcards or in the travel guides. Alex paused for a moment, the eerie silence enveloping him like a shroud. The feeling of unease grew stronger and he could almost sense an unseen presence. His heart pounded in his chest as he stood alone in the silent alley, the darkness closing in on him. And just when Alex thought he was alone he heard a child's laughter echoing in the alley. The sound was distant yet clear, a chilling reminder that in Venice, not all is as it seems. Pompeii, a city frozen in time, holds more than just historical artifacts, it holds echoes of a past that refuses to be forgotten. Let's journey to the ancient city of Pompeii, known for its tragic past and haunting beauty. Here we uncover the tale of Sarah, a history enthusiast with a fascination for the city's eerie charm and a tale that would send chills down your spine. Sarah was not your average tourist, she was captivated by the city's history, the shadows of its past residents etched into the very walls. She walked the cobblestone streets, tracing her fingers along the ancient stones, feeling the echo of lives lived centuries ago. As dusk fell on Pompeii, an unsettling quiet blanketed the city. Sarah found herself alone, lost in the labyrinth of ancient streets. She felt a cold breeze that seemed to carry whispers of long-lost voices. Was it just her imagination, or was there something more? As she turned a corner she felt a sudden chill. The hairs on the back of her neck stood up as she felt an unseen presence. She heard a faint sobbing, a spectral sound that echoed through the deserted streets. Sarah was frozen in place, her heart pounding in her chest. She felt a cold hand brush against hers, a silent plea from the past. A shiver ran down her spine. Sarah couldn't see anyone but she knew she wasn't alone. She was sharing this moment with a spectral entity, a resident of Pompeii who refused to be forgotten. Sarah was shaken, but not afraid. She felt a connection with this spectral presence, a shared love for this city lost in time. She whispered into the wind, I hear you, I won't forget you. And just like that, the sobbing ceased, the chill lifted, and Sarah was alone once more. Sarah left Pompeii with a story she would never forget, a haunting reminder of a city tragically lost in time. The Colosseum, a symbol of Rome's ancient grandeur is also a stage for the unseen. We now find ourselves in Rome, the eternal city, home to the Grand Colosseum. This colossal structure, standing tall for almost two millennia, has witnessed the rise and fall of empires, the triumphs of gladiators, and the cheers of countless spectators. But today it's not the past we're exploring, but the strange and eerie events that continue to unfold within these ancient walls. Enter Mark and Lisa, an adventurous couple drawn by the allure of a moonlit tour of this iconic monument. They sought the thrill of walking through the echoing corridors under the pale glow of the moon, expecting a night filled with history and haunting beauty. But what they encountered was more than they had bargained for. As they strolled through the dimly lit archways, a chill ran down their spines. The atmosphere shifted, the air seemed heavy and an eerie silence fell upon them. The couple felt an unseen presence, a sense of being watched from the shadows. They were alone, yet not alone. Suddenly faint sounds echoed through the empty Colosseum, the distant roar of a crowd cheering, laughing, shouting. It was as if the ghostly echoes of the past had come alive replaying the grand spectacles once held in this very arena. The couple froze, 
their hearts pounding in the silence of the night. The sounds grew louder, closer, until they were engulfed in the phantom cheers of an invisible crowd. Just as suddenly as it started the noise faded into a whisper and then, silence. The couple stood there, hearts racing, eyes wide. They looked around, only to find the Colosseum as empty as before, but the echoes of the phantom crowd still lingered in their ears, a chilling reminder of the unseen spectators that once filled these ancient stands. Mark and Lisa left the Colosseum that night carrying with them a chilling tale of the phantom crowd. Back in Venice, the city of water, a gondola ride turned into a ghostly journey for one traveler. Let's delve into the tale of John, an intrepid explorer with a penchant for the peculiar. Our story unfolds as the sun dips below the horizon, cloaking Venice in a shroud of mystery. John, a seasoned traveler, had always been fascinated by the city's serene canals and intricate architecture. Seeking a unique experience, he decided to embark on a late-night gondola ride, when the city's tourists were tucked away and Venice revealed a different, quieter side. The moon hung low in the sky, casting long, eerie shadows over the water. The city was hushed, save for the soft lapping of water against the gondola. As he glided through the winding waterways, John began to feel a distinct chill, a cold spot in the otherwise balmy Venetian night. He shook it off as a trick of the wind, but as he delved deeper into the city's canals, he couldn't shake off the feeling of an unseen presence. A whisper seemed to echo around him, a hushed conversation just out of earshot. It was as if the city itself was sharing its secrets, the walls whispering tales of centuries past. Suddenly the gondola jolted as if nudged by an unseen hand. John looked around but there was nothing, no ripples in the water, no movement, just the still, silent city. The whispers grew louder, a symphony of voices that seemed to swirl around him, the words unintelligible but the tone hauntingly familiar. It was a language of the past, of history and time immemorial. Though unnerved, John continued his journey, the whispers his only company in the otherwise silent city. He felt a sense of awe and respect for the city's past, its stories whispered in the wind, its secrets etched in the very stones of its buildings. He disembarked, leaving the ghostly gondola behind, but carrying with him the chilling echoes of Venice's past. John's gondola ride was a chilling reminder that in Venice, you are never truly alone. Italy, a country rich in history and culture, can also be a stage for the uncanny. As we've journeyed through the cobblestone streets and ancient ruins, we've encountered the eerie side of Italy through the experiences of Alex, Sarah, Mark, Lisa, and John. Their tales filled with spectral apparitions and unexplained phenomena have taken us beyond the traditional travelogue, into a realm where history, myth, and mystery intertwine. Alex, who wandered down an unseen alley, found himself lost in time and space, experiencing an otherworldly Venice that few have seen. His experience reminds us that in Italy, even the most unsuspecting lanes can hold a wealth of secrets, waiting to be discovered. Sarah's haunting encounter in Pompeii where she felt the echoes of an ancient civilization gives us a chilling reminder of the city's tragic past. Her story shows us that history is not always confined to textbooks. Sometimes it reaches out and touches us in the most unexpected ways. Then there's Mark, who, under the shadow of the Colosseum, saw the phantom of a Roman gladiator. His spine-tingling experience brings to life the stories of courage and combat that once filled this amphitheater adding a thrilling dimension to his Roman holiday. Lisa's ghostly gondola ride in Venice, where she heard the spectral serenade of a long-gone gondolier, serves as a reminder of the city's romantic yet mysterious charm. Her story highlights the enigmatic allure of Italy's waterways, where past and present often merge. Finally, John's eerie encounter in a Tuscan villa, where he felt an unseen presence, underscores the mystique of Italy's countryside. His tale suggests that the country's rustic charm can sometimes hold an uncanny edge. These stories, as chilling as they may be, add a dash of thrill to the Italian experience. They remind us that travel isn't just about seeing new places, it's about experiencing the unexpected and the inexplicable. Remember, the next time you visit Italy, you might return with more than just souvenirs. You might return with a chilling tale of your 